Well, in the last few days, there's been a lot of um, this movement where the Democrats and the media have moved to where they're protecting the FBI and basically implying that anybody that's complaining about what they're doing right now is attacking is the FBI. And yeah, you're on American. So you're, you're on American for fucking questioning, for questioning fucking and criticizing a which, tyrannical agency. Didn't they do that throughout everything with George Floyd and, and everything leading, you know, prior oh, to yeah. that? They were the ones that are running that fucking fucking defund the police and fucking everything else. But the minute, the minute their asses are even remotely in a sling, oh no, we never said that. Hot the, what the fuck, dude? It, there's video proof of that. But then this goes back to something I've said previously. They don't care. Well, not only that, this goes back to something I said previously. Reality is not reality anymore. Well, reality is, is this, what they make it. It's not what they make. It's what whoever the fuck wants makes it. Well, because everything is fake. I say I, them because they control the things that make the narrative. That's mm, why we're. That's why this that's side is point. counterculture now. You're focusing too much on politics, and I'm not. No, I'm, I'm not, not, I'm, I'm not even argument. talking politics. I'm talking like society in general. I'm talking like this. This way now would have been like the '60s. It would have been in the '90s with the counterculture. Nothing to do with politics. It's no, a, it's I don't a think matter so either. Of mine. No, not that either. Because we're in a time where we can use, we can deep fake motherfucking people into movies that don't exist and are dead. Well, that's a whole other stretch. No, it's not a stretch. That's free software. No, and I mean like that's a deep fake reality and things that aren't real. That's my a, point. But as opposed what, to a society that can't nothing even can see be compar- nothing be con- nothing can be comparably real. Everything is, everything is comparably false, because what do you have to really base it on? Well, you for for those of us that are old enough that remember reality. This is true. <laughs> they remember reality. Re- but that's my point. Is now reality is subjective, because everything that we do is it always basically was, to. It no, always was. No. no. It, it was it subjective was. how you how you felt about it. Now it's subjective if it's any if it's, if shit's even real because now we have the ability to fake everything. Well, but dude, they we've been questioning. You know, I mean, like UFO, Roswell, uh, Moon landing. Yeah, that's human nature. But the difference this there is, is that this has been this wasn't is part there. of our fabric. It is, but the the technology wasn't there. Now it is. I on this fucking laptop can fake us doing anything you want to do right now. But Hang see, on that's, a second. Go ahead. No, I don't want to change the view. That'll fuck us up. Well, people listening are going to see your green screen. <laughs> but that's my point. Like, I can literally change this shit right now. I can go into the fucking the settings and change it. So that nothing, nothing's truly real. But what say, I'm seeing, like, real. society shift is, like, when we were in the 90s, we knew this stuff. We knew there was, we knew what was real. What yeah. Was. Obviously, now, I'm not next to a bridge, am I? We're, we're now surrounded by a lot of people that see it. The shift, meaning that there's a lot of people that see this, understand this now. Am, am I on a beach? No, well, I'm you're, not. You're, your you can see the fucking, terrible. So there you, you can see the glitches in reality, see, obviously. You're, you're shattering point, the matrix right now. My point stands. Now, that might not nothing, even be real. Nothing is real. Nothing is subjectively real. And how you feel about it means little. Um, you can't, unless you can verifiably and quantifiably physically show what is right in front of you. It's hard to say. Like but you, you have then, all, all but these. If you want to peel more shit. layers back, dude, then you can say that that that's not even real. No, it's not really real. No, I mean, like, what you did, fake. to get to the point where you said to, to see it and verify it, you can say that's not even real. Well, it's it's real in the moment. So, but you can somebody can say that they didn't see it, so it's not real. So I, I don't ever say this, but I have this theory, and that you transition right into the. This, I don't know how we got here, but I'm gonna say it. We're rocking. Um, what if, like this whole thing? So you want to talk about not real? The Matrix real? This whole thing right now is just my program. Like you are an extension of, of a, a person, a software that is made. You wish I'm too badass for that. But it's all, but everything. Like you think, like <laughs> if you just think, like this whole st- storyline. Like let's pretend how everybody's got this feeling. Okay, the world's gonna end. What if it's really because your storyline is ending? It's all oh, our just, storylines ending. That's consciousness. But you know how they think that we're in this like, um, what do they call it? They like you know, it's like a software. You can see where that mentality. Are comes you talking from. about the idea that we're all in a holographic universe or an AI, you know, program? Yeah, I, I I can't see it. I can't see it. I mean, and like it has to keep going till we keep fucking up. So you got to restart it, and we get closer yeah, and closer. There is to no see. reboot. 
Well, they, it's like, what if they want us to see till we get to this point? And then we're like, okay, they're never going to get there anymore, so let's restart it. And each time we get more and more advanced, we get more smarter, stupider. Well, more smart would just be it. But the point being, though, is like, so we didn't human make beings it, fucked up. <laughs> human beings are basically the same as like toy molds. Like, your genetics are, are if they're really strong, I and mean, your kids are going to look like you, like, after a couple generations, it's going to be one of your, your kin born looks exactly fucking like you. It's yeah. impossible that they won't. There's a bunch of people walking around and go, oh, they're doppelgangers. That's fucking genetics, dude. We're basically molded. We, we're basically, like, made toys, okay? Like, we come out of a fucking manufacturer, basically. But I, you, you can't really say that, oh, well, we must be in the Matrix. The Matrix was a, a good idea. Unfortunately, it came from, from terrible people. But uh, just saying, just saying, putting it out there. Keanu did the fucking the franchise good, but uh, the people who uh, come up with it did not. However, the point being that there is a ton of shit that you just can't absolutely say is correct. But I mean, to say it's the Matrix, come on, man. There are there are proven there are proven things in our in our world that are verifiable. Like if you just do just a little research. I'm just a tiny speaker. You ain't got to go hard. Just go to a library and look some shit up. I know libraries are fucking, oh my God, what the fuck is that? It's not on the internet. <sighs> Whatever. But anyhow, well, if you just never go to a library th- and look some shit up, you find that the information you might believe to be fake is because the goalpost is always moving. And the reason the goalpost is always moving is because if I change definitions of things... No, that's and true. Current, and, and now that... Your Miriam's dictionary says it's this, even though twenty years ago it was well defined and understood. You don't well, know the difference. You're too young to know about that shit. So you that's the go subverted reality that we're in right now, where orange is black and black is gray. Well, it's the same thing with like religion. Men, men right? have uh, tits. Yeah, no. It's the same thing with religion. You look at like the Dead Sea Scrolls or something like that. These are literatures that were lost. And then, in, in order to get a full spectrum of what you're really dealing with, as far as like the belief and ideology, you need to have all of it. You, what we have is a very cut and dry version of what each religion is supposedly supposed to be, and it's from the viewpoint of a man. It's not from the viewpoint of a creator. So it's hard for anyone to really be like, "Oh, my religion's right." How the fuck do you know? I just like take a, like a dude of that all look, of them. I'm saying, but like a dude that looked just like your fucking neighbor wrote the motherfucker. And at the time, he was considered a prophet. Today, he'd be fucking locked up because he's crazy as fuck. So, I mean, you have to take these sins as subjective as you can. Well, I'm not saying that there's no God. I'm not saying there's no heaven or hell. I'm pretty much I'm, I'm banking on him, right? But the point being is you can't verifiably say that's true. You and were you talking have about a real perspective how we can verify all of the literature. Things that were real in the past, and that was gonna I was going to bring this up. But now I just thought about we're going to do a whole show... On the Mandela effect, uh, <laughs> I have so many things to say about it, but that is a, um, a whole other. This topic. is just my viewpoint of walking around every day. I, so this isn't anything I took well, off of uh, ideology. No, or, but I'm saying like I, the Matrix is not to me like some computer glitch program. The Matrix is an idea where uh, I think of things as dimensional. So to me, the Matrix does exist. Does it exist like a computer program? I don't think so, but nothing would surprise me. But I think of the Matrix as this controllable, dimensional thing. Hmm. I look at it as chess. A game of chess. If it was to be a true item, you would have no free will. You would be a program. And in a program, you have if, ands, and, or do loops. Do loops, I would believe, in all honesty, would be you (coughs) fucking up on a regular basis, would be a do loop. But I mean, if, ands... Ors. I think that's. More I think of, those. Uh, those would be your your purgatory decision where you're just kind of like relooping things. No, nah, it's, it's a daily happening. Believe me. So if you wanted to look at it from a programming aspect, that's what I would think of it as. Well, I mean, the, the uh, going back to the Bible, that's where you know free will is mentioned by man at first. Um, and then if you put it that way, you have an existence of a plane, right? And your plane is an X, Y, Z factors. So in those X, Y, Z factors, everything is happening specifically within those parameters. So 
your programming would only be concealed so within linear. whatever. Yeah, it would be. It would be like if your Z is only a certain height, right. you only have room to fuck up in a certain mm-hmm. in a certain area. So like your life would be limited as fuck if you were thinking of it as a program. Well, don't you think that's kind of like how the first versions of all of us kind of were? Like when I was going back to the reset thing, nah. and it's kind of like each it's going like layers up started kind of like here and now we're kind of like right here maybe we get to here i don't know i tell you what as fucked up as this is as i, I kind of see it this way so like when you play games now you have micro transactions for everything you if yeah. you, you start out with the you, your character's all right but thanks a lot shit, rockstar right? games go ahead but your character ain't the shit right like in call of duty you gotta fucking buy better weapons better skins to yeah. and to have better fucking they have better speed agility fucking reaction time shoot time fuck all that shit right so what you mm-hmm. start out with is basic i mean you can make it happen but you're you're relying solely on what was already the paren- the, the parameters of that character so if you look at like a caveman the parameters for that character was an unlock wasn't a lot excuse me wasn't an unlock mind so there was limitations, like a motherfucker. They were like version 1.0, right? So, like, as you have your situational awareness of what's going on, they realize, oh shit, we gotta fucking, we gotta kill and eat what we kill in order to survive. We gotta fucking drink the water that looks terrible, that everything's been shitting in. We're gonna get fucking sick. So, you know, like, all these things are happening. They're not really sure why they're happening. And as time goes on, they start to learn, oh, well, this happened. I touched that, and it hurt, so I don't touch that anymore. And as time goes on, you become version 2.0, 3.0, 4.0. Who knows what fucking version we're at this point. But, I mean, you don't start out as the best character. You have to pay to become the best character. And in terms of a living human being, you have to pay with experience. XP points, basically. I think we're both saying the same thing, though. Um, More than likely. It's just we don't know how we get it. You know, it, it's... I don't even know how the fuck we got here. From <laughs> starting <laughs> on the FBI raid, it somehow went into this. It was unbelievable. 